Hello and welcome to this installation guide and review video featuring the dome glass screen protector from Whitestone for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Firstly you will want to lay out all of the supplied materials, keeping them close to hand and ready for use as there's quite a few steps in this process when compared with other screen protectors. Once you've got everything out of the box and are ready to go, you'll then want to ensure that your work surface is flat and sufficient for the installation as even a slight decline can cause the adhesive to slide off the foam completely during the installation process. My top tip is to take one of the adhesive bottles and see if it rolls. If it stays flat then you're good to go, but if it rolls towards you or away from you then you'll want to find a level surface before you begin. With a flat surface sorted, you'll now need to grab one of the provided alcohol wipes and thoroughly clean the entirety of your Notate's display, paying close attention to the edges so as to ensure for a perfect base for the protector to be applied to. After using the alcohol wipe, you'll then need to use the microfiber cloth to clean and dry the screen, before finally using the dust removal stickers like so. This will remove any final dust or lint that can be very annoying if not removed at this stage as no one likes seeing dirt or blemishes that they can't get rid of under their protector. Now that your screen has been thoroughly prepared, you'll now want to carefully place your Note 8 into the provided installation tray and then place the top layer into place. I would advise giving the screen a final check with the dust removal stickers so that you can be assured of a well prepared screen. The next step required is to insert the plastic pin into the gap like so, before then positioning the bridge into the area shown at the top section of the tray. Now take the adhesive bottle and remove the first cap. Make sure to remove the right end first as the second cap does control the liquid's release. You'll know which to remove first as it's the different coloured cap which is also slightly larger as can be seen here. When the cap has been removed you'll then be free to screw the bottle into the bridge like so. Don't worry about any spillage as no liquid can be released until you remove the second cap which should be done once the bottle is screwed into place. By removing the second smaller cap, the adhesive will then be free to run onto the glass. You'll want to leave this to happen for around 30 to 40 seconds so as to make sure that all of the liquid is out and onto the phone. With the adhesive liquid resting nicely in the top third of your Note 8's display, you'll then be ready to carefully remove the plastic bridge with the adhesive bottle still attached. This will leave you free to remove the protective film from the screen protector by using the blue tab like so. Now you'll want to take the protector and drop it into place, starting with the bottom first while the top is then lowered onto the guide pin we placed in earlier so as to ensure alignment without touching the adhesive bubble. Once happy you'll then want to press on the bottom of the tray to slide the adhesive bubble into the centre of the Note 8's display. When it reaches this point you'll then want to remove the plastic pin and stop pressing down on the bottom of the tray. This action will cause the protector to fall into place and allow the adhesive to spread throughout the entirety of the screen. You'll need to allow around 80 seconds for the adhesive to spread correctly but you'll most likely be able to see when it's spread fully anyway. Now with the UV light powered on, you'll want to cure the top part of the protector for around 15 seconds although a touch longer will not hurt it. Once complete, move the UV light down to the bottom section of the protector for another 15 seconds or so. After this time you'll then need to remove the Note 8 from the installation tray, give it a quick wipe down and place it on a flat open surface ready for the UV light to cure the top and bottom parts again. Now take the UV light and cure the top and bottom of the Note 8 for a further 30 seconds each in this state. This will then complete the installation process allowing you to enjoy your Note 8 with the peace of mind that its screen is well protected. You'll instantly notice a superb fit, look and feel, with no horrid glue marks that can be often seen on other protectors. You'll also notice the fully clear appearance which looks fantastic, while many other protectors use black lining around the top, bottom and sides to hide the glue. The dome glass doesn't need to, thanks to the high tech installation process which leaves the phone looking and feeling fantastic. The protector is just as responsive as before, meaning that you can use your Note as you would normally, including the S Pen which works flawlessly through the screen protector. It's also supremely clear, with just as much clarity as before which makes watching videos and playing games a truly enjoyable experience. The protector is compatible with the majority of cases but not all. I've tested over 20 cases thus far and will be showcasing them all in a case compatibility video to which I will leave a link in the description and at the end of the video. 
Overall, the protector may seem like a daunting proposition to install, but I genuinely found it extremely easy. By following the instructions I've provided, you'll be guaranteed of a well-applied screen protector that's easily the best available on the market today. It is a little bit expensive when compared with other protectors, but the unique installation method really does ensure of a quality fit that's second to none. I hope you enjoyed this installation and review video, if you have any questions then please ask away in the comments below and if you would like to purchase then I'll be leaving links for all countries in the comments below.